new acquisition is a halberd. It's an amazing piece of weaponry. It's an amazing piece of decoration. It's etched, decorated steel made for Ferdinand I, the first Habsburg emperor of the Austrian line. Halberds were very important military weapons in the late Middle Ages. It is a combination of spear and axe. It's like a Swiss army knife blown up into a gigantic dimension because you can use it to cut, you can use it to pull, you can push, you can do everything with it. And of course, it's deadly in, in each way. The reason why, uh, in fact, it was developed was as knights became uh, wearing this high-tech armor in, in the late Middle Ages, then you needed to, uh, appropriate weapons to, to fight them. It's like a can opener in a way, only that there's, of course, a human being inside the can. With the emergence of firearms on the battlefield, uh, the close combat between foot soldier and the knight on a horse uh, became less and less important. So these weapons became more and more ceremonial objects. In fact, today there are two nations which still have the halberd as a uh, weapon in use for this particular purpose. One of them is the Spanish Royal Guards that still use them, and the other one is the Swiss Guards at the Vatican. You will see them holding halberds, and of course if you get too close to them, they will make exactly the movements that they've been trained to do since the 16th century, to bar your way with the halberd, and then to use it for crowd control purposes. And of course, if someone would come with some more evil ideas, they would be very well trained, in fact, to put it into a much more bloody action too. It is still a very, very deadly weapon. It's really an important addition to our very small but select collection of arms and armor in the museum.